Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Okay, so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to configure the Kodi app so you can watch uh, stream movies and and uh, stream some some sports replays or you know sports whatever whatever it is that you want to look for you can search for it see if they have it on there. So this is the Kodi app. Now, if you're wondering how we have this screen on our Fire Stick, um, it's with a program called Fire Starter. If you see up in the left-hand corner. Um, and I show you how to put that onto the fire stick on the previous video that I made. So make sure you look at that video first if you don't know how to get to this point. So if you want to get to the home screen, the regular Amazon home screen, you would just click right here, Fire TV Home, click on that. And you can see that you just have the regular uh, Fire Home Place. I really suggest in this app section to get uh, the game Fibbage. If I didn't already tell you guys to get that on the last one should be in the highlighted area so it's right here download that it's free for the month of November in 2015 okay so now every time I hit the home button on my remote it takes me to this screen again okay so we're gonna go to Cody and this is what we see on Cody when we first launch it so we're gonna go all the way to the right uh, where it says settings I'm sorry system and then we're gonna go to file manager so in the file manager, we're going to go ahead and add source here. And it's asking us to put in an, uh, a path or a website, basically, that we're to access. So we're going to put HTTP. And I'm going to type this in uh, so you guys don't have to wait. And I'll come back once it's all typed out. Okay, so I have it all typed out. It takes a while because of the remote, the Amazon Fire Stick remote. It kind of makes it a little difficult because you have to navigate through this keyboard and find all the letters. So this is what you want to type, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG. To access the dot, you're going to have to go into here and you can also see the forward slash here. It's just in case you can't find that, that's where it's at. All right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit done. And then we're going to click down here and we're going to label this media source. And we're going to label it Fusion for the purpose that it just makes sense. That's where we're accessing. Uh, you can actually name it whatever you want, but I suggest just name it Fusion. That way, in case you ever need to access it again, you can. Click OK there or done. Click OK down here. And now you have the, the source here on the left. You can see, uh, just to make sure, you can click on Fusion here. And if you see something like this, then you typed in the website correctly and everything's working fine. So let's back out of this. And we're going to still be in systems here, but now we're going to go to settings down here and we're going to click on that and go to add-ons shortly uh, third to the bottom. And right here on this page, you're going to want to go to install from zip file. Click on that and there we see Fusion. This is why you want to label it Fusion because it's easy to remember and easy to access. So we click on that here and we're going to go to start here. And in start here, we're going to go all the way to the bottom and download the, vid the plugin video hub wizard. So click on that. And you see on the bottom right corner, it says config wizard add-on enabled. So we're going to back out again, back out one more time. And now let's go left to programs. So we're going to click on programs. And once you click on programs, you're going to go to program add-ons right here. So go down one and click on config wizard. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, now here you can see different options. We will definitely want to click on the Fire TV option. It's going to configure the Kodi app to basically function well with your remote uh, and this particular device, which is a Fire TV. So we're going to click on that. And it's asking me to replace or customize. Yes, that's fine. And it's going to be downloading. So I'll be back as soon as this is done because it's going to do it. It's going to download and then go to another window and do some sort of extracting of a file. Kind of take some time depending on your network connection. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. So actually, right after it downloaded, it just exited and came to this particular screen here. So you should see this now after you have collect, uh, selected on that. Um, it's saying installation complete and TV add-ons.ag. So just click OK. Now, there was a couple of times that I've clicked on the Amazon TV download button and it did give me an error in the corner, in the bottom right corner. If that happens to you, what I did to solve the problem is I just clicked on a whole nother one. I know it wasn't, I'm not really supposed to install that version of whatever program on here. So I just clicked on another one. As soon as I started seeing the bar go up pretty fast, 
I just canceled the download. Went back to the Fire TV one and it started up again nicely and downloaded it. So it has happened to me before. So if that happens to you, that's how you fix that. Okay, so here's your Cody. So something that you can do here, you go to music, videos. Uh, down here, if you go down twice, you can select different add-ons. These are kind of like, I would guess, what you, you would call channels, uh, or different programs that access different channels. So Genesis here, you can watch movies. Um, all kinds of movies. This one, I'm not sure what it is. I usually have a, an app called Sports Devil. So I'm gonna teach you actually how to get Sports Devil onto here, because that's one of my favorites. And then these are the three I like as well. So these are these two are for movies right here. Ice, one channel on Ice Films and Phoenix is more for sports. But I like Sports Devil. So if you ever wanna access your add-ons that you currently have installed, are all of these here. These are all different channels that you can access, different genres and specific things. So Sports Devil is one that I like. It plays videos of different sports uh, sports streaming sites um, like First Row Sports if you've ever seen that. You can access that through here which is pretty cool. So how do I get this on my home screen? So I'm going to back out and we are going to go over here to System. Okay. Now in System I'm going to go to Settings and under Settings there's this first link right there is Appearance. I'm going to click on that and then here you can see that I'm highlighting skin. Well, in skin you want to go to the right and then go down and then click settings right here. Hit settings here and you can see add on shortcuts here. Okay. So I don't know why they didn't make this easier to access, but that's okay. We found how to get to it. So you can see that these are the ones that are showing on that home screen right now. So I want to change this one because I've never used it. Don't know it. Um, don't really care for it at the moment. So I will click here and I should see the list of all of those add-ons that I have and I'm gonna go down to Sports Devil because that's the one that I wanted to have right here so here's Sports Devil I'm gonna click on it and it's listed so I can just back out of this back back again and go over to videos and there I see Sports Devil okay so that's pretty much it guys uh, your fire stick should be ready with all of this on here uh, now when I hit the home button on my remote I actually get to this point right here as you can see uh, Cody's accessible right here and fire TV is accessible right here so the next step I would do you don't have to do this but uh, this is pretty much the ender for me is I go over to the Fibbage app um, I really like sitting around the TV and being able to play this game gives you the ability to connect your phone to the TV and the fire stick in some way that it makes it an interactive thing for everyone to be able to play a game while sitting on the couch. So it's, it's pretty fun and it's really funny, really creative. I would suggest download that. And if uh, you don't want to wait for this download, actually we'll come back for you. Okay, so that finished downloading and then installing. So I'm going to click on open. I'm going to show you guys a little bit about this. Um, there's really nothing else. I'm just kind of showing you how to use the fire stick in some way that I like to. So here it is. Okay, so one thing that I want to do is, um, let me lower this. So one thing that I want to do is, um, if you see a little icon on the right on top over here in the lettering, uh, it says press the menu button to, to be able to purchase the game. So just hit yes, because right now it's actually free. Uh, it's normally seven bucks, six ninety nine. So um, I would suggest you that this is a really cool item. This fire stick, um, I I really do see that a lot of homes are going to have it. It's amazing. It's it's very convenient. It doesn't need to plug into your wall. Uh, it plugs in directly to the TV. It gets powered by the TV. If you need have a USB port back there as well. So we hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, um, please subscribe, comment, like, uh, share it. Anything that you can do, uh, uh, that would be helpful. Uh, one other thing I can actually show you guys if you want really quickly. Let's say I want to put this Kodi app in front. That's what I normally like to do. I hit the menu button on my remote. And then you can click move right here. And then you just move it right there. So I usually like to put this and this right there. And now I can add this. So if you download Netflix as well, you can get Netflix on here, which is a Fire TV home place and you can see it down there you just click Netflix and uh, download this Netflix so that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching I uh, hope to see you in the next video